Hello, it's Mrs. Williams again, first grade teacher at Grant Elementary. In social studies today, we are in chapter four, lessons three and four, how is culture shared? Our learning targets are, I will know about family and community celebrations. I will know that we celebrate people and events from our nation's past. Vocabulary, tradition, a way to do something that people pass down over time. Celebrate, to do something special. Holiday, a special day. Hero, someone who works hard to help others. Nation, a group of people who have one government. President, leader of our country. Colony, land ruled by another country. Lesson three, what are our celebrations? Envision it. Check a box to show each thing you use to celebrate. I see a party hat, balloons, a broom and dustpan, and some horns. Which of these things do you use at a celebration or a party? I would check a hat, balloons, and noisemakers. The broom and dustpan are used before and after the party, not during. Which of these do you have at your parties or celebrations? Families have many tradition. A tradition is a way of doing something that people pass down over time. Families celebrate. A wedding is a tradition. Many families celebrate or do something special at a wedding. Families celebrate reunions too. Families who live far away from each other meet at a reunion. Families celebrate when a child finishes school too. How we celebrate. Many families celebrate holidays. A holiday is a special day. Some holidays honor people. Other holidays are religious traditions. Christmas, Passover, Eidolfert, and Kwanzaa are some holidays. How do families celebrate holidays? They may eat special foods, they may light candles, they may decorate their homes or give gifts. Question two says, write the name of a holiday your family celebrates. Think about all the holidays that we celebrate. Some are religious and some honor people. We recently celebrated Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a holiday that honors people. It honors the people that died in service to our country. We put flags out at their grave sites and remember all those that have served in the military. I'm going to write Memorial Day as a holiday my family celebrates. What is a holiday your family celebrates? What would you write on the line? Community celebrations. Many communities celebrate their cultures. Some communities have parades. People play music, they dance, they eat special foods. In some celebrations, people tell stories. Some stories are about important people. Others are about famous events from the past. Many people come to hear the stories. Children may help to tell the stories. Telling stories is a tradition in many communities. What are our celebrations? We have sat family celebrations and we have community celebrations. Our instructions here say, look at the pictures, drag photographs that show family celebrations to the family column, drag photographs that show community celebrations to the community column. This photo, this is a photo of a neighborhood block party. Do you think that this is a family only celebration or a community celebration? If more than your family can go to it, I believe it is a community celebration. A photo of a family at a wedding. Is this a family celebration or a community celebration? Most of the time, only family and friends and close friends go to a wedding.
it's not just everyone in the community. A photo of two boys exchanging gifts. Do you think that this is a family celebration or a community celebration? It's a small gathering, so I think it's a family celebration. A photo of San Jacinto Day celebration. So I think this is a community celebration. I'm gonna move it there. Lesson four, we celebrate our nation. Envision it. Circle things in the picture that show a celebration. Look at the picture. What do you see? I see fireworks, a marching band, and people gathering. I see costumes. What do you see? A hero is someone who works hard to help others. We remember heroes on some holidays. We remember special events on holidays too. Our nation's heroes. Martin Luther King Jr. is one of our heroes. We remember him on a holiday in January. King wanted all Americans to have the same rights. He worked to make the laws of our nation fair for everyone. A nation is a group of people who have one government. George Washington was a hero too. He helped our nation become free from Great Britain. Washington was the first president or leader of our country. We remember him on President's Day in February. Veterans are men and women who fought for our country. We honor these brave people on Veterans Day in November. Our nation's holidays. We celebrate our nation's past on holidays. Thanksgiving is one holiday. July 4th is another. Long ago, people came to this land from Great Britain to start colonies. A colony is land ruled by another country. Many people in the colonies did not want to be ruled by another country. Leaders voted on a Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. It said the colonies wanted to be free. Now we celebrate Independence Day on July 4th. And this caption says, Independence Day celebration at the Statue of Liberty. We celebrate our nation. Instructions. Drag each holiday to the person or people it celebrates. Let's look at the people. Dr. Martin Luther King was a hero in our nation. He worked hard to make it so that everyone had the same rights in our nation. George Washington was our first president. And these people are in our armed forces. They fight in the military for our freedom. This label says Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Who do we celebrate on Martin Luther King Jr. Day? We celebrate our hero, Martin Luther King Jr. On President's Day, we celebrate our president or our presidents. And our first president was George Washington. On Veterans Day, on November 11th, we celebrate the people that work in the armed forces or have worked in the armed forces. That is Veterans Day, and we celebrate the people that have worked in the Navy, Army, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard. A challenge. I want you to think about this and maybe share it with your parents. Why is it important to remember the people in the pictures? Why do you think it's important to remember the people in these pictures? Assignment. Draw a picture of a celebration. Write a description of what is happening. Or create a card 
and make a poem about a holiday that your family celebrates. Hello, first graders, it's Mrs. Williams here. I wanted to talk to you about your assignments this week. Draw a picture of a celebration, write a description of what is happening. Now, this is a drawing of me and my family at the lake. And I drew fireworks and the town and the lake and the dock and me and my husband sitting on the beach. And then the description of what's happening is, for the 4th of July, we go to my aunt's cabin. We swim, have a barbecue, and when it gets dark, we watch the fireworks. It is a fun day. That's what I like to do for 4th of July. Maybe you have a different celebration that you would like to draw about and then write about. The second option is making a card. Create a card and make a poem about a holiday that your family celebrates. The next holiday coming up is Father's Day. So I thought, hmm, dad, heart, love, and I made an acrostic poem inside. An acrostic poem is spelling a word one way and then writing words across or sentences this way. So down spells father, F. A T H E R father and then I wrote adjectives adjectives describing my father across across father so friendly adventurous thoughtful huggable encouraging responsible and at the top I wrote happy father's day love me you could sign it how you would like to you can also make a card about a holiday that you like and write about it write a poem about it inside. Maybe you like St. Patrick's Day and you have descriptive words for St. Patrick's Day or maybe Fourth of July or independence. What does independence mean to you? So two options. Draw a picture of a celebration and write about it or make a card and write a poem. Make sure you take pictures of these and send it to your teachers, otherwise they won't be able to see your beautiful work. Have a great day, bye-bye.